Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be showing you a crazy Skype virus that's going on right now just to sort of warn you guys so you don't make the same mistake me and many an alarming amount of other people have made. This is a really nasty, quite brilliant Skype virus that's going on. So what, what happens is one guy will get infected with this thing and it will hack into your Skype and send your contacts this, uh, this message that goes LOL, is this your new profile pic? And a Google link with your Skype name in it. It's just like Google, it looks like a Google image link. So it looks like a completely harmless link, right? You click the thing, boom, you're infected, you have a virus. It's most likely a keylogger, and uh, and it sends that to all of your Skype friends. So if I click that link, which I did, I'm not gonna click it again, um, when I click that link that Sacred Heels sent me, because he got infected, then it will send that link to all my contacts. So this thing is spreading like crazy. I was talking to Dante on Skype, and he got uh, he got like a bunch of these all at once. He's got it. Uh, most people have this cleaned up by now, or at least we think. But this is a really, really nasty virus that's spreading like wildfire because it's really, really convincing. You know, you you, you get sent a message saying, "Hey, is this your new Skype profile pic from somebody that you know and you trust?" And it's not like some you, you're just not used to seeing that happen through Skype. You're used to seeing that happen through Facebook and through email and other shady things but you know when sacred heels sends you a link that's uh that's something like that it's it you know it's crazy and, and he sent me the link and then of course you know a few minutes later after i already clicked it don't click it don't click it oh my god it's a virus fuck and uh too little too late so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of that uh or at least to our most current knowledge now there might be an update video for this uh because i we don't nobody really knows if they've gotten rid of it completely Done a bunch of virus scans. It says I have nothing, and uh, it says I removed a bunch of stuff. So let's let's hope that we got it out, but not really a hundred percent sure. So here you go. How to remove it? Uh, what you want to do is go to Tools on Skype right away. Go to Tools Options. Then you're going to go down to Advanced and Manage Other Programs that Allow Access to Skype down at the bottom right here. Click that. And now it, now I removed everything anything that was using Skype X split anything like that I removed it now when you go to this you might see some dodgy programs if you've clicked on this link like D9 X A B 4 G 4 D 4 F like numbers and letters crazy stuff like that remove it I would be safe and remove them all uh, not that many things a lot want your access to your Skype and it's really easy to give stuff access again that you trust so that's one way you got to do it another thing to do is click this on um, click your start menu uh, type in run click run and then go to app data a p p d a t a click ok uh, and then once you get here go to roaming this is going to show all the stuff um, all the stuff your computer sort of uses and it's like temporary data this is where the thing was hiding now normally if you scroll all the way down you see all the folders of the legit stuff adobe uh, logitech macromedia microsoft whatever um, now at the bottom there was Skype. There was a fake Skype link or a fake Skype logo. I didn't personally, I didn't personally have that, <clears throat> but other people did. Delete it. Delete it. Throw it in the recycle bin. Delete that. Uh, also, I had some green little fishy green icons that looked like U's, like green U's. I don't know if that was a vi I don't know if that was part of it, but delete that as well. Get all that crap out. Anything that looks fishy. Anything that looks. Sorry, my voice keeps cutting out. I'm a little bit. Uh, Throw this a little bit dry, but anything that looks fishy, go ahead and delete it from the app data folder. Uh, I don't think it's going to cause any permanent damage. It's just the app data is mainly your settings. So if you had like an auto save password for NVIDIA or, or you know, just an example, uh, you'd have to like redo your settings on something, but nothing really, really crazy. So be sure to do that. Um, main thing, um, go to your tools and your options and make sure you're, you're not allowing access to some crazy... Uh, crazy program in here and that was the main thing obviously run virus scans uh, a vast uh, a vast virus software is what picked it up for me uh, spybot search and destroy did not pick it up so get a vast a vast seemed to pick it up pretty well and do not click any shady fishy links from anybody because uh, you might get fucked and uh, yeah that's that's about it this thing is going on like rampant this thing is completely completely rampant so be sir be careful be safe but overall man the guy that designed this is brilliant fucking brilliant man it's it's convincing too because i 
I didn't think Sacred Heels. I didn't think he was going to send me anything. Look at that link. It's a Google link. G.OO.GL. That's a legit Google link. With my... With my URL. That doesn't look like a fishy URL, really. It, from Sacred Heels? Who, you know, whatever. People send stupid pictures all the time. So, if you got it, there's a good chance a lot of you guys got this. Because it's, it's fucking rampant right now. It's, it's crazy. So, good luck. Uh, download a vast software. Disable your uh, anything that has access to Skype. Go into your app data. Be sure to remove that stuff. And uh, good luck. Hopefully I'm clean. If I'm not clean and I find out that I'm still infected and I find a way to get rid of it, I will make an update video and let you guys know. So hopefully this was educational. Good luck.